by the way, never a 12 handicapper. An absolute bandit. He's Jesus, how do you hit a ball like that? That's unbelievable how you even hit it straight. You can't even keep your balance. Oh, I'll tell yeah, you well what, done. the old Nike method, the old trusty Nike. <laughs> Hi, we're here in store today with our recently announced second ambassador that yeah. we've announced um, in the last couple of weeks. How buzzing, are we, Jamie? Mate. Yeah, I'm buzzing, mate. Absolutely uh, delighted to be here. Uh, what a place. I mean, first time I've walked in here, it's like golf in heaven. If you haven't been up here, you need to get up here because I'm looking around, I'm thinking, I could take everything home here. Tier size, paradigms, you've got the old Mavericks, the Sims over there, pings. Oh, I mean, I can't believe it. I love it. Golf for me is life. Um, I'm really excited to be the ambassador um, because I've traded in plenty of clubs in my time and uh, there's been a plenty, plenty of clubs that have ended up in trees as well. So <laughs> I've come to the perfect place to find uh, some new clubs, that's for sure. You're all Liverpool you fans up here as well, aren't you? You're all scouts, uh, uh, Liverpool in, fans. So How's it going this season? It's been a bit of a bit of a you know, farewell tour bus has run well, out, hasn't it? What, what Petrol's like gone. Halfway between Manchester and Liverpool, so yeah. half us are United, uh, United fans and half us are Liverpool oh, fans. Oh, it's a bad gig um, then right now then for you lot. Yeah, it's not been great. Could be worse, you could be a there. Chelsea fan. I mean... That's why I'm getting out today to go and play golf with you. <laughs> so, so I don't have to sit and listen to them give me stick all day. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, What's the song they've been singing, Randy? I've heard it when I walked in. What was it? The old Everton fans, what were they singing? They lost the league at Goodison Park. You lost the league at Goodison Park. You lost the league. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though, you've got to be in it to lose it. Do you know what I mean? And, uh, and you'll feel you like, it? you'll feel like that today on the golf course. Yeah, I will see. We'll we'll see. We'll a, see. A lesson or two. I think I think we're, we're going to have a good game. It's going to be fun. We're going to build a couple of bags for you. So yeah. we're going to build a new bag for yourself. Obviously, yeah. you, you mentioned that you were looking at um, changing yeah. some clubs. Yeah, it's um, perfect. So I actually do want to change my clubs. So as you get older, you get a bit slower, and I think the shafts I've got are a bit bit too stiff for me now. So yeah. I'm actually going to take it back a little bit and slow my swing down and. This is, a, I mean, what a place. You've got everything I could ever ask for in, in, in golf clubs, so yeah, so, can't wait. And then the second bag, um, what we're going to do is we're going to ask you to put a bag together of either old clubs that you've used before and really yeah. enjoyed yeah. Um, or clubs that you wish you had got and yeah. tried back yeah. then. Yeah. Um, and then we'll take them out on the golf course and we'll I've see. already got my eye on some of the stuff here. I know, I know for a fact that you've got an ERC here and that, that golf club was a cheat stick back in the day. So I know you've got one of them. That's definitely going in the bag today. So there's some classic clubs here I definitely want to try out. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Can't wait to go shopping. Let's get right into it then. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Welcome to another YouTube video here with Golf Clubs for Cash. Today, we're down at Sandyway Golf Club with Jamie O'Hara. How are we, mate? I'm good, mate. I'm good. I can't wait. What a track you've brought me to. It looks absolutely beautiful. The weather's out. We're playing off the tips. I'm ready unreal isn't it yeah what a gaff yeah lovely reminds me very much of like Wentworth type golf course yeah. you know tree line looks beautiful so yeah. hopefully the swing will be good I've never played here myself oh, haven't you? It's, it's local to me as well and I've never been here can't afford it, it it looks unreal it does it nice mate <laughs> does it nice Tommy Fleetwood you said plays here didn't he uh, yeah he does yeah so it's got to be nice if he's here it is it's really nice just from what we can see on the first tee I mean even if you pan round and look down there yeah, you know when you turn up to a golf course and you're seeing that as the first tee? It's stunning, you know, You know you're in for a nice day. So we're going to have an 18-hole match play today, yep. mate. 18-hole match play. 18-hole match play. What's the crack? So, uh, you're off three, aren't you? I'm off three. And I'm off 12. Bandit. So I've already heard from the office, the boys, right, that you're a bandit. But I don't want to argue with you on the first tee box. We'll do what we've got to do. All of these guys watching probably wouldn't agree with that. No? They've, they've seen me play golf a lot recently so I think I think nine shots is fair nine shots and we've got two different we've got two different uh yes, clubs and so, we're two different bags so on the front line you're going to play with your new actual clubs oh, that yeah. you're going to take home yep. play with every day the mini driver can't and wait and then to this. on the back nine we're going to play with them clubs that you chose in the shop this the, morning. Classics, the classics the nikes yeah. the coverts the vapors oh, I can't wait to I cannot wait for the back nine and put them on. Well, I'm making you wait for the back nine for them because I can tell how excited you are yeah, to use them. I am. So. Hopefully I'm not six up by then. 
So, mate, I'll give you the honour. Yeah. Being the low man. And play well. Mate, good luck. Let's have a good round. I'm looking forward to this, mate. Add uh, Liverpool, uh, just a reminder. How did oh. Liverpool get on against Everton? Just a reminder. Hang on, you sports bears. Hold oh, on, yeah. yeah. Adam, the you, farewell tour bus. You can't talk to me when you <laughs> sports bears, mate. <laughs> Oh wow. Stray. That's a cheat stick. Oh, you're banging yeah, trouble. Good shot. He's banging trouble. Look at that. Golf clubs for cash. Fairway finder. Oh, golf shot. Great shot. You're banging trouble. <laughs> so when did you start playing golf me? I started playing golf when I was probably about 12, 13. Um, dad got me into it. My dad was always, you know, trying to get me up the range. And obviously because of football and that, I loved the competitive edge to, you know, doing something. And yeah, I just, I, I got into it. Loved it, mate. Loved it. I was just up a little golf range called uh, Pedham Place, which down south people will know quite well. And um, used to go up there with my best mate, summer holidays, just playing golf every day, every day. Any day I was off school, I was up the golf course, so I loved it, mate, and they've just stuck with me ever since. So a lot of footballers obviously play golf. Yeah. Is, is there a reason behind that? Is it just because it's another sport? Or? For me, golf's always been my sanctuary a little bit. You know, you, being a footballer, being in a high pressurised situation all the time, and having to be like, dit, 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 on it, you know? Golf for me was kind of like an escape, you yeah. know? Go and play golf, you're out in the open, beautiful places. You forget everything when you're not forget, on the fairway. Yeah, don't you? you forget everything, you know, all the troubles you've got in your life, anything going on. And, I, and that for me was kind of like my, my kind of sanctuary, my therapy a little bit, golf yeah. for me. So, and that's always been the, the case uh, ever since I was, you know, I lost my mum when I was 17. So for me, getting out in the fresh air and, and getting out in the open and, you know, that golf was kind of an escape for me. So that was why I loved it. And I still do now, still do now. I let every day and... Whatever goes on, whatever stress you got in life, get out on the golf course, I'm happy. And obviously, you're off three as well. Like, so yeah. You're, you're really a golfer, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I hate losing. You, well, this is what I was going to come to. Like, obviously, there's that competitive side yeah. from football transfer over as well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, obviously, you know, it is an escape and, it, and you love it as a bit of therapy, but you want, I want to win. Yeah. You know, if I'm walking, I want to win. You know, like, I walk on a golf course and that's it. I'll get that focused mind. And that's how I, I always beat my mates. Because I always say to them, you're good golfers. When it comes down to the crunch, when it comes down to the pressure, I've been in them situations before. I live for it. I breathe for it, right? So that's why I can always get in their head because I've been in them moments as a footballer. And now I can do it when I play golf. I love it. I get in their heads because I'm like, I know when it comes down to it, when I'm over that four foot part at the end of the game, I'm going to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. It's a bit of a guess this because I can't actually zap yeah. the flag. I don't think there's too much trouble up in front of it. It's a run. A bit scuffy, but it's straight. Right. So I've got the new Callaway Apex MBs that you picked out. I did. And they on the range, they were like butter. Let's hope I can uh, feel them in there. I reckon you're really going to enjoy them, to be fair. I hope I do. I mean, they felt lovely on the range. A lot softer than the ones I've had. If we hit it nicely, I think we'll be all right. Oh. That felt lovely. I'll take that all day. Oh, good shot. Cracking shot, mate. Really good effort. Yeah, good roll, take it away. Right. Good roll. Unlucky. So off the first, mate, uh, half. Yeah, good half. I mean, I, uh, I played that well. Yeah, Lovely first hole. Yeah. Uh, new clubs in a bag, Dri you know, driver, nine iron. Little park, great. I'll take that all day, but 
I know I'm in for a game here. I'll give you some shots, and you've got one there, and we've got the half, but you're a good player. You're straight, you're steady. This is going to be a good match. Shot down for me, though. Um, yeah, but... And you got through it without a loss. You so. got to, yeah, but you've got to take the shots where you're going to, to get them. Do you know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. Squeeze through. See it come down. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, nice shot. Stunning, though. So, yeah. obviously, we spoke about when you started playing golf, mate. Yeah. 13, was it? Yeah, 13, yeah. Do you remember what your first clubs were? I mean, I have to be honest, I think it was the pings in the shop. Oh, right, okay. I, 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 yeah, I don't, I mean, I, it might be wrong. It might be too um, too far back, but I'll be lying if I said I knew exactly what they were, but the clubs I remember using first the, was, there's two. The Callaway Big Bertha, yeah. when they first come out, and they were meaty, weren't they? But I loved them. And then it was the Pings. The Ping G, you know, one they brought out that G series, G100s or G10s. They were, you know, I loved them. And then the ERC, which I'm going to have a hit of later on. Yeah, you are. The ERC is the club that I remember hitting when I was like, that's it. I'm into golf. That thing come out and I was like, I'm ready. So, um, I mean, clubs have changed so much now, haven't they? And they've got so much more technical, but... It I, was like a little walk down memory lane for you, though, yeah. before, wasn't it, in our shot? Oh, honestly, that, like, for me, I got goosebumps. I'm, all I can think about is getting on the ninth and changing the clubs. So I want to hit them Nikes because, you know, as a kid, that's what you remember. You have childhood memories of hitting the Nike Vapor irons and the ERC. I just can't wait to hear the noise of it because it's going to bring back memories of me playing with me mates. I'm looking forward to watching you play with yeah. them, to be honest. I, mean, I hope I play well. You, you've got this much excitement about yeah. you. You've got me excited. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just, listen, look, these clubs are unbelievable. What you've, you know, what we've yeah. sorted out. Amazing, the clubs that we can get these days, but. It's, just, it's more the fact of the noises. It's going to bring back the noise and the memories of hitting them and playing the golf courses when I was a kid. Should we with have me a mates. look at what you've took and what yeah. you've got in the bag for the front nine? Yeah. So we went for the Apex Pro Iron, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's a combo set. I think there's MBs. In MBs there. and maybe uh, Is this the five or the four, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure, but whatever they are, they're like silk. And they're lovely. We went for a lovely set yeah. of PXG yeah. Sugar Daddies. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean... You, 58, 54, 50. Yeah, I mean, you, you got them out for me. Um, and you said someone, obviously, on, a, on the PJ Tour used them. And on I was, the LPGA. On the was, LPGA. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but, I mean, they just look unbelievable. The fact that you can even get hold of them was... You know, I'd normally go, you know, tight list, but the fact that you had them, and you were like, these are the boys. And they were in the, the lofts and that that you wanted yeah, as well. So it, it, it made sense for you to give them a whirl. Yeah, so unbelievable. Great club. You've gone for the Taylor the Mini. mini. Driver. I mean, everyone's been talking about this Mini driver and I'm not great off the tee with my driver. I can hit it long, but I can spray it all over the place. And everyone's talking about this Mini driver. It's a cross between a driver and a free wood, but it's a fairway finder. Now... You ain't gonna miss fairways. With I ain't that, gonna miss mate. too many fairways with that, and it just feels great. So I thought I'd have that in the bag. And then, look, we've got the Titleist in there. You have to have the Titleist, don't you? So we've Again, got you picked that out. TSR three, ten degree, and you've got a one K in there, a ten tie, one K black. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to X hit that. X flex as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to hit that. Um, the clubs, I mean, the clubs you picked out already. I was just like. Pfft. I'm in dreamland, you know? These clubs are unbelievable, so... Well, the one I want to see you using is this. The cheat stick. The cheat stick. Look at the that. The cheat stick. Listen, the old broomstick, centre handle, ping. You know what, that can't be expensive. I don't know how much it was, but... Ping Carsten. Uh, 43.99. 43.99. And this bad boy right here, I call them the cheat sticks. Because you just point the elbow down, the, down to the, towards the hole, and you just let the body, just let the body roll like that. You ain't going to miss too many with that, I tell you. So I'm a bit scared to use it at the moment because we're in the match. <laughs> if I get a few up at your head, I'll, 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 I'll start using it. But So we won't see that put us you, ain't, you might see it for a, in you know, four holes, maybe. I'm going to hit the mini driver off deck. Yeah. So par five. See if I can hook this one around the trees. I mean, I might top it and fall flat on my face, but I reckon I've got this in the bag.
beard, I've nutted it. That'll do me. Through the trees. He's gone left, left, left. I've hit it dead straight. That'll do me. That's what it's for, isn't it? It's meant to go dead straight, and I've hit it dead straight. Shot. Right, I've got very lucky here. I've actually got a shot. If I can get this on the front edge, I'll take that all day. It's the first time hitting these babies. Don't let me down. It's that too, really nice. This place never, ever, ever, ever. Go. It's going to be I short. Been short loads lately because of the amount of rain we've had. A bit short. So, actually, if that five would really well, I got 134 to the flag, so I'm going to hit <coughs> the eight iron. I'll thin that a bit, but that's going to work, I think. Good, good yeah. shot. Hopefully we pop this up. Hopefully it doesn't go in the bunker. It's not great, but it's not in a bunker. Oh, it goes the other way at the end. Good effort. Take it away. Thought that was in. Oh, you've hit that hard. Oh. Oh. Go on, you can have that. That's a golf shot. By the way, never a 12 handicapper. An absolute bandit. Is it every fairway, every green? 12 handicappers are in the trees already. <laughs> cheating. Can't believe he's brought me up here. He's cheating me out of it already. <laughs> Shocking behaviour. Honestly. Stray. Be good. This is all over it. Be good. Of course, it's lovely. So, mate, obviously, <coughs> you, you do play a lot of golf. Yeah. Where's your favourite course that you play? Oh, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. I really am. I'm blessed to have been able to play some really nice courses. Um, you know, friends at the Wentworth, friends at Queenwood the other day. That I, looked unreal. I, 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 I have to say... If, you, if I was, I mean, if I was going to pick a course, any course I've wanted to play, it was Queenwood. And luckily enough, Ollie Fisher, who's a, on the European tour, a friend of mine, he said, do you want to come and have a game? And I was like, yeah, yeah it's sign me up. And that was, it was everything I thought it was going to be. Absolutely unbelievable golf course. A real pleasure to play it. Um, so I'd have to say Queenwood in England, the UK. Close second, Wentworth. I'm a member of the London Club's a great course. There's so many nice courses around. I've never done Scotland though, you know. Have you not? No, I really want to do it as well. I've not done it and I really want to, so. Well, we had a little chat, didn't we? We had some lunch and uh, that might change pretty yeah. soon. I'd love to get up there and have a few games. I know Steve is uh, obviously an ambassador now. Yeah. So I want to take him on, we'll have a few games. Well, we, but um... we, well, first and foremost, we need to sort your handicap out <laughs> because what I'm seeing right now is unacceptable. You brought me up here. I've drove all the way to Liverpool. And you're cheating me out of it after three holes already. You've had two shots in three holes. I mean, I've got no chance. It's embarrassing. You've been giving me stick all day about yeah, the football well, yeah. team, so I'm just... Um... Look, just because Liverpool flopped the league, it don't mean you have to come and mug me off. Do you know what I mean? I've come up here to help you out. That's a long way past. Otherwise, I'm banging. Did you get another shot on this old year? I don't know, actually. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Shot every old 12 handicapper. Embarrassing. All the way up from South London to get banded out of the game. Ah. Oh. Roll. Mm. 
Good. Good free. That's a steady free. Pushed it. Ah! Two up through three, mate. He's never a 12. He's never a 12. You, ne you don't miss a fairway. Oh, I've nutted that. Come you on, baby. You've smoked that, haven't you? Turn I over. reckon that's going to be okay, though, you know. Half five, this, isn't it? So, I feel like if I just fade it through that gap, We'll be in a good spot. Let's give that a go. Oh, stop fading, stop fading. Yeah, it's it to see. It's come out actually onto the fairway, but. We lost the league, we're good as some park. <laughs> you lost the league, we're good as some park. <laughs> oh, I've pulled it. Pulled it. Big. Oh, Might get lucky. Hey, I think that's bunker. Yeah. Go. Doesn't quite get there, does she? It's got a chance. Unlucky, good effort. Eight, back to one. Back to one. Your honour. I found your weakness. Just talk about Liverpool. Sing Liverpool songs, then you're in trouble. So I get a shot on this hole. Oh, there's a shock. <laughs> the bandit. Ah! I don't know what's over there. Golf shot. Go. 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 Got no chance there, it's the only place in the hole I can't put it. Why did you chip that? I'd never, ever, ever put that. Really? Never in a million years. On the years. fringe? Never. No. Nice. Great for that. Very well played. That's why I wanted to play the putt. It's SI1, in it? Yeah. So, so back to two, mate. Yeah. So we got a lovely, lovely looking par three. It's beautiful. 150 yards. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do the one arm challenge, mate. All right. So basically. I mean, what chance have I got here? I'm two down. No, 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 no. This so, is not part of the game. No, we both right. hit our proper shots first. Right, okay. And then you get a chance to hit a shot like me, essentially. Okay. Um, and. It, a, it's funny. Yeah. But B, it's just to give you a little bit of perspective on how I play golf. Yeah, really. no, I'm really impressed, mate. I'm really um, impressed. You get into a great position at the top to do that one-handed and then to, to have the connection that you get and the control. Fair play. I mean, that, that, I mean, when did you start doing that? Um, when did you start practising like that? So, I tell, I tell everyone something different. But the actual, the actual story is, like, um, we were the kind of lads that were always together. Uh -huh. When they played golf, I was like, can't do nothing today. They're out for hours playing golf. Yeah. 
So I just got literally a horrible set of pings yeah. from the car boot sale. Pings that were probably from the 70s or something. And was playing golf two-handed. Yeah. Like I could only ever swing back to here. Yeah. Which is why I chipped two-handed because I'm right. used to that. You're used to it. Okay. Um, but then I did something in school. I can't remember what it was, but basically I was given like, um, it was like vouchers for golf lessons. Uh -huh. um, essentially, I won them. Um, so I went to the local golf club and I had one lesson. Yeah. And he taught me how to play golf one handed in one lesson. Wow. And then that was probably when I was, well, I was still in school, so it would have been like 14, 15. Yeah. Um, then I kind of stopped playing golf because when you finish school, everyone kind of goes to separate ways and that don't be so yeah. I stopped playing golf. And then for my 18th birthday, my mum got me my first proper set of big birthers, actually. Yeah. Who knew at the time. Yeah, yeah. Can't go wrong with them, can you? Um, 2008, I think it would have been. About there. Mm -hmm. And then... Again, I played for a bit and stopped. And then when I really started playing golf was COVID. Yeah. Uh, that's when I, I yeah. literally three, four times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, well, ever no, since. You, I, honestly, I'm really impressed with your golf game. You're not a 12 handicap. I know I know, we have a bit of banter, but you're better than a 12. You're a single, or, digit, you're a single digit handicap in golf. Or you're just not a three handicapper. No, no. <laughs> definitely not. Because I know I'm a three. Oh, bit draggy. Oh. Strike. Everyone that's tried it has gone left hand behind the back. Yeah. Mm, try not to whack it. Uh huh. And then it'd just be smooth, just to try and make contact, essentially. I'm guessing it's just to keep connected, isn't it? Like you would. Yeah. Oh, that's hard. Don't quit on it either. Jesus, how do you hit a ball like that? That's oh. unbelievable how you even hit it straight. You can't even keep your balance. It's, I, I don't, I fall all over the place. No, you ball. don't. So obviously we spoke a little bit about how you got into golf. Yeah. But now I'm interested to know about the footy. Yeah. Obviously that's what you're known for. Yeah, of course. Um, so, my first big question, yeah. and you must get asked it all the time, but... You're known for playing for Spurs, mm -hmm. but you started off at Arsenal, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, 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 I did. I was, uh, I was actually, um, I was actually at Chelsea when I was seven. So you've done the three of them. Yes, yeah, so I was actually at Chelsea's academy when I was a real sort of young kid. I was playing under nines, left back. Uh, a scout came up to my dad and said, you know, he, he looks really good. Does he want to come down and train for Chelsea? So I went down there. They loved me, um, and I was at Chelsea from seven, eight. Um, was there for a few seasons, really good, but they, they, they cl actually closed one of their training centres, which was in Canterbury. And I had to start going up to Battersea Park. It was too far for my dad to go. So I got to about 11 and my dad decided that obviously it was time to maybe move on, look at something else for me, because it was just too much. They didn't want me to leave. Had loads of offers come in. Um, you know, pretty much every London club was after me. Uh, I had Man United who was really interested in me going up there, Manchester City. Uh, West Ham, obviously all the, all the clubs who had decent academies. But my mate th there, Joe, he was at Arsenal. Right. And he was a centre midfield player and he was really good. And we played with each other in midfield. Um, and he, he said, Arsenal's the best academy, you need to come there. So we were really good mates anyway. Arsenal really wanted to sign me. And I went there and, and the academy was unbelievable. I loved it. It's a great academy. Grew up, me and Joe obviously grew up through the age groups together. We went to Arsenal school getting picked up every day it was fantastic it really was and I was one of their you know young players who was going to come through and, and, and get in their first team and I got to about 17 and they wanted me to go in full-time offered me a really good contract to go in full-time with the, with the reserves and the first team and I had a falling out with Liam Brady and it was a silly falling out because basically what he said was we love you we see you playing for for Arsenal we've got you know a really good side at the moment we see your progression maybe taking you till you're 21, you're getting a sign. I was 17 at the time. I was playing for England in the, you know, the age group. Tom Huddleston, Aaron Lennon, Gabby Agbonglehor, Theo Walcott. They're all starting to start playing already. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, I'm not waiting another four years to get in the first team because that, that's, that, feels, my, that feels a long way away. So I said, no, I'm not having that. I said, if I'm not going to be pushed on, I'll leave. I said, I, you know, and 
Tottenham obviously were really interested in, in, and they heard that I was, you know, a little bit disgruntled. Made a phone call, and they had to pay a few quid for me. I don't know what the compensation was, but I heard it was around a million pound. So I, I left, and um, they didn't want me to go Arsenal. They were a bit gutted, and I get, I'd take a little bit of stick from Arsenal fans saying, "Oh, you got released and all that." That wasn't the case at all. I was one of their star players coming through, and they were gutted that I left. But I didn't want to wait until I was 21 to play even though they said, we will see you playing for Arsenal. So I went to Tottenham. It wasn't as good as Arsenal as an academy, but it was still a very good club. I wanted to play for Tottenham. It who, was my, who did you I, was a, I was a Spurs fan. Always a Spurs yeah, fan. So yeah, so I was a Spurs fan. I used to turn up at Arsenal in Spurs kits and used to have a bit of banter about it. <laughs> um, but I always wanted to play for Tottenham. So when they come calling, I said to my dad, let's go. I want to go to Tottenham. Um, and the funny story is, is... I didn't actually make it into the Tottenham first team till I was 21. <laughs> <laughs> so I was sitting there scratching my head for a while and I made my full yeah. debut against who? Arsenal. Oh, really? Yeah, at the Emirates. Um, night before, got told I was starting. So my first full game starting the match for Tottenham was against Arsenal. Who was the manager at the time? Um, it was one day Ramos was the manager. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so one day took over. I loved him. Really good gaffer, um, Spanish guy come in, changed, you know, it was that new manager that was coming through, yeah. changing the system, the way you eat, you, the, how fit you were, everything was monitored. And at that time, I was really fit. I was strong. Me and Gareth Bale were one of the fittest in there. And he gave me the opportunity. I was training really well. And he, and he put me in and he said, I want you to start. I'm going to throw you straight in. And he put me right in the deep end and kind of went from there. And it was great. And yeah, the, it, you know, from then I was involved with Tottenham pretty much week in, week out. But, you know, I have a bit of banter with Arsenal players and I do and I have a bit of banter with the fans. A brilliant academy, fantastic academy and still are one of the best in the world. So, you know, obviously they've done a lot for me, but Tottenham got the benefits of it in the end. So obviously you've been giving me a little bit of stick um, yeah. these first five, six <laughs> holes. But how are you going to feel when Arsenal win the league at White Hart Lane again? <laughs> That's definitely not going to happen. <laughs> Arsenal will Arsenal will flop the league. You know, you know what? To be fair to them, right? They've done well. You know, Arteta has turned them around. They were in the mud a little bit, and Tottenham were catching up. Then we fell away, and Arsenal have gone to another level. So it looks like there's a massive distance between us, and there is. But we'll come back. We'll get good. I think Andrew's the guy who's going to take us forward. Yeah. I love him. I love what he's about. And you've got to think, right? Man United are struggling. Chelsea are struggling. Yeah, Your mob, Jürgen's Liverpool. Going. Jürgen's going. Right, how long is Pep going to stay at Manchester City before he starts getting bored? It can't be too much. It can't longer, be can for it? he can't stay there forever. So there might be, and everyone thinks it's not going to happen, but it might be an opportunity for another club to step. Newcastle are trying, but I think they're. I don't know if yeah, they're going to be know that. I don't know if they're going to be that team. So Villa as well. Villa are doing well, but Unai Emery, if a big club comes along, he's yeah. gone. I'm sorry to say, I know he's signed a new contract, but if a big club from abroad comes in and says, "I want you," he's off. Yeah. And I think Ange could be the guy to take us forward. I think we'll be closer than people think next season to Arsenal. I think Arsenal are having a good spell and they've got some good players, but I think Tottenham could come good. We're a massive football club, almost like a sleeping giant. But everyone says, oh, Tottenham fifth, Tottenham this, Tottenham that. If we get it right with the manager, which I think we've got now, and we get some good players in, I think we'll be all right. If he makes it from up and down from here, I'm going home. It's a great shot. Oh, get in there, baby, get in there, baby. I'll get that on. That's right. Hang on. I'm guessing that's all right. Stay there. I tell you what, you've done well there. That's landed completely soft. Whoa. 
Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh my God, you've let me right off the hook. I'm gonna have to see that in. Didn't break. I'm gonna have to see that in. Yeah, nice, good off. Stay there. It's all right. So obviously we spoke about how you started yeah. your football career. Yeah. What was Tottenham playing? Playing for Tottenham, oh, right? your boyhood club in there? It was unbelievable. I mean, the best feeling in the world, making my debut for Spurs. Um, never forget it. Lives in the memory for a long time. Used to get choked up about it, but obviously it's just, you look back on it in fond memories now, as never forget it. Harry Redknapp, um, I think he was, he was in the stands. I think he was looking at potentially taking over Tottenham, but yeah, one day Ramos gave me the opportunity. I'll never forget it. He's like, go and warm up. And I'm thinking I'm just there making up numbers. Portsmouth away. It's one all. Berbatov's in the team. We've got a good side. And I'm thinking, I'm, I'm coming on. I'm going to make my debut for Tottenham. And I'll never forget, I'll look round. My aunt, my auntie Rita, my dad, my brother in, in the crowd crying their eyes out. Like crying their eyes out. Because they're going to see me realise my dream but and my family's dream as well you know the hard work the graft the dedication that we put in my dad driving me up and down the country to give me the opportunities to get to where i've got to and that was that was the moment so yeah it's one that i'll never forget about and it's one that i'm you know really proud of that you know i've had my ups and downs i've made some mistakes but no one can ever take away the fact that i've I got to play in the Premier League for my boyhood club, Tottenham, you know, it's just... It's unreal, I yeah. mean, when you think about all the kids right now, yeah. up and down the country, yeah. and like academies and yeah. stuff, it and 99% of them won't get to that level. 99.9% .9 of them yeah. don't make it. Yeah. 19, I was the 0.1% that made it. And, and to do it for your boyhood club as to well. To do it, to play for Spurs, to, you know, to live in that moment, to just have that memory, just was, you know, it was just unbelievable, so... I'm proud of myself, you know, that I made it that far and I had a good career for Tottenham, I loved it, you know, I probably left a bit early, but I loved it there, it's a great club, I've got a great affiliation with it and it's something that I've had some really good memories with, you know, and you look back and you think, when you're in the moment, you don't probably enjoy it as much because you're just so focused on, you know, playing and, you know, seeing what happens and contracts and your life, but when you look back and you think, I played for Tottenham in the Premier League, I'm just a normal lad come from humble background, a little village in Dartford. I've got to play for Tottenham. I lived, I realised I've lived my dream. How many people get to say that they've lived their dream? Lived yeah, their, usually, not you know, many. not many. I lived my dream out in real. And that's what something I'm really proud of. Oh! I think the only branch you can't hit. Oh, it's to open the door for me. It's giving me a get out of jail card. <sighs> okay, come on in. No putter. Believe the line.
don't believe the line in that. We're on the 90. Yep. But we've had to swap over clubs early, haven't we? Yeah, well, it gets away from us, doesn't it, the, yeah. the ninth. So I think changing up there will be um, a long walk back to the clubhouse. It is. I'm spending half the time in the woods right now, so I don't really need to be walking anymore. But this could be the change in fortunes that you needed. Well, I'm actually looking forward to this now because I've got the Nike Coverts, I've got the Nike Vapors, I've got the Nike Method Putter. I mean, you're playing well. This is the best of. You are. I, you're, I mean, you're written it lovely. So. You're playing it really well. Maybe I'm giving you a bit too much G up. I need to start mugging you off a little bit, maybe. <laughs> I've, I've, I'm spraying it a little bit, but that's what you do when you've got new clubs, right? Of course. It can you know, take, it takes we, a while. We, we just said 10 rounds or so to get used yeah. to the new weights, the shafts, yeah, everything. Yeah. Everything so. about it is new. So you don't know your distances. You're not quite sure how far it's going to go. So, you, you know, it's, it's tough to play with new clubs. But yeah. I'm excited. I'm going to join me round. The old Nikes, they're out. See what we can do. Let's do it then, mate. Alright. I don't know the lines. So. No, uh, it's right ain't great, I know that. First hit with the Nike Vapors. I'm excited to see how they how they come off. I hope I don't play rubbish with them because they're lovely gloves. Oh, I mean, that's gone high. Jeez. I mean, I've hit that right, to be fair. And the old trusty Rusties. I'm in big trouble here. Shot. Can't go wrong with a Cleveland. Oh, he's duffed it. He's Jason duffed it. Unlucky, mate. Tell yeah, you well what, done. the old Nike method, the old trusty Nike. <laughs> so nine holes down, mate. Yeah. One in it. One in it. You let me off the hook there, mate. You duffed it. You've been playing well. It's the first one. Pressure's, you know, you've seen the Nikes come out and all of a sudden you're getting a little bit worried. I mean, that... You've seen the Tiger clubs come out and you're banging trouble. <laughs> that duff was the difference between Jason Duff three or... And being one off, so you've let me off the hook there massively. I've got a chance, make a par. Let's go. So back got, nine. We got the back nine to go. Yeah. And one off. So don't forget to look out and catch the back nine yeah. in the next coming days. Yeah. With the Nike Vapors. I mean, this is going to be a joy to watch. Oh. Oh. Go in. Go in. What Mustard a that. golf shot. Mustard there. <gasps> Look at them babies. So we had ever had a hole in one? I haven't, you know, and I'm I can't believe it because I've played enough golf to get it near enough. Yes! <laughs> get in! <laughs> so these days, mate, you're up on talk sport. Aren't yeah. You? Yeah, mate, I love it up there. It's been good for me, you know, they've great laugh, family sort of company. Um Everyone sticks together and I love it. Yeah, they've been, been really good to me, you know. 